Vapor Forged and Cons of Tarkir. They're both from the same block, but which one is going to come out on top as the more profitable packs? Let me know in the comments down below. Place your bets now. Remember, Fate Reforge, you can get fetch lands in the back slot where you get like the dual lands like Blossoming Sands and stuff like that. Those common dual lands. And obviously, Constantark here does have fetch lands. Uh, it was the first reprints of those Onslaught fetch lands that we got. It's actually the only time we've gotten those in a full set besides Onslaught. Now, the five most expensive cards in Fate Reforge, they're all mythics, and then there's actually two uncommons that are more expensive than any rare in that set now cons of tarkir obviously the five most expensive cards in this set is all fetch lands yes and they're all over 30 dollars each okay here we go let's crack these things open let's start off with fate reforge first and then we're gonna go on to cons of tarkir Okay, the pack difference in price. Paper Forge is about a $5 pack right now. And Cons of Tarkir is about $8 to $9, depending on where you get it in my city. Okay, let's crack open the first pack here. See what we are going to get. We're just going to skip through these commons here until we go to the uncommons, because there is some uncommons here of value. And the first uncommon of this pack is Hero's Blade. Not the uh, best uncommon, but it's still pretty useful. Next card is Light Form. It's not one of the expensive uncommons, unfortunately. Then we got Merciless Executioner. And our rare is Alicia, Who Smiles at Death. This was actually reprinted in Time Spell Remastered in the uh, retro frame. Okay, what do we got? It's a common, so we do have the Scoured Barons. Okay, and then there's our Morph token. All right, come on, Fate. Will we see Nugent? I would love to see Ujin. Maybe we'll buy that pack open terribly. Okay. Well, let's see what we get. Let's go through these commons quickly and see where our first uncommon is. It is Fearsome Awakening. Not one of the expensive uncommons. Unfortunately, we got Cached Defenses. Defenses? Hmm, what am I saying? Hungering Yeti. Look at that. He's hungry. Smashing that mound to pieces. Give me food! And it's a rare. It is a Tarka World Render. This is actually one of the cards you can get in the promo packs, I believe. One of those like intro packs you can find like at Walmart or Target in the States. Okay. Next card. It's another common. It is Blossoming Sands, unfortunately. And then we got a Spirit Token. Ooh. Looking pretty rough, Fate. Looking pretty rough. We haven't gotten any of the expensive uncommons so far. We don't have any Fetch Lands. No good rares. Well, there isn't really any good rares in the set, but no mythics either. Come on. Come on, fate. I talked you up so much before this goblin boom keg. We got a Carsey High Priest, Battlefront, Crowshock, and we have an Arcbound. Okay, I guess we'll have to take it. I do have a foil, though. It is a foil soul summons. And it's another common. It is Thornwood Falls. Not very good, but... It's all up to this last pack. Come on, Fate. Don't do me like that. You're doing me pretty dirty right now. Let's blast through these commons here. Okay, first uncommon is a Frost Walker. And we get a Dragon Rage. And then we get a Ward Scale Dragon. Still no good uncommons. And it's a Mythic. It is Whisperwood Elemental. Not one of the better Mythics to get in this set. But nonetheless, at least we did get a Mythic in those four packs. And what are we going to get? We got a Foil here. It's a Foil Uncommon Meringue River Prowler. Okay, well, get, getting two Foils out of four packs is not too bad for Fate Reforged. Remember, this is before they printed Foils into Oblivion. And our next card is... Oh, my God. Guys, we got a fetch land. We got Bloodstained Mire, one of the best ones to get, too. I think this is the second most expensive out of all the fetch lands in Cons of Tarkir. Look at that. What did I just say? Last pack saves the day. Here we go. Oh, my God. Cons of Tarkir, you have a lot to live up to right now. What a pack. What a pack. A Mythic, a foil, and we got Bloodstained Mire. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, that was insane. What is Constantarkir going to do right now? I'm almost out of breath right now. Whew. 
Breathe slow, Matt. Breathe slow. Okay, here it is. Starting off with the first pack from Konzatark here. Ooh, man, that was crazy. What did I say, guys? You can get fetch lands in Fate Reforged. Wow. Okay, so there is no commons that are worth over a dollar in Konzatark here right now, so we're just going to put those all aside. And then our first uncommon is Scion of Glaciers. I think the most expensive uncommon is Monastery Swiftspear, I believe, at the moment. Uh, Amulet Palace, actually not a bad uncommon. These uh, Tri-Lands are pretty good. They're pretty sought after for Commander players. Uh, our first uncommon is Teamer Charger. And we have a rare... It is a rare land. Oh my god. Is it a rare land? Actually, no, it's not. It is Deflecting Palm. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. This is uh, one of the cards I use in my burn deck uh, as a sideboard card. Not bad for Boros Burn. And we have a land here. We have our Island and a Morph Token. Okay. Next pack. Come on. Let's see what we get. All right. First uncommon is a Venerable Lamusau. Ramusu. Uh, oop, nope, putting the wrong pile there. Mardu Charm. Then we got a Warden of the Eye. Our next card, is it a rare? Yes, it is a rare. It is a creature, unfortunately. It's Ankle Shankler. Shanker, I should say. And then we got a Swampy. Okay. So far, Favor Forged is beating the crap out of Cons Tark here. What is going on, Cons? You don't even have a foil yet. People who are betting in the comments down below, placing your little bets there. Probably saying, oh, easily cons. Easily cons. Well, it wasn't so easy, was it? Okay, we got Ruthless Ripper. And then we got Jeskai Elder. And it's a rare. It's a creature. 6-6. Six, six, Sagu Mauler. And again, no foil. Oh my god. I think, yeah. I think it's safe to say. Favor Forwards beat the crap out of, out of cons. Okay, wow, Favor Forge taking the cake, I think, right now. Well, we still uh, have this pack to go through. Let's see what it is. River Wheel Aerialists. We have a Salt Eye Flare, a War Name Aspirate, and it's a rare. Oh, it's a creature. Oh, no, we got all gold creatures, all gold uh, rares as well. Avalanche Tusker, and I think we do have a foil, though, here. It's a foil uncommon, Jeskai Elder. Oh my god. Talk about a beating. Talk about a beating. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Fate Reforged. Yes. Fate Reforged, you were the winner today. Congratulations. And uh, to everyone who guessed correctly in the comments, give yourself a pat on the back. Unbelievable. Fate Reforged is coming out on top. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next opening. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.